All right, so you just scored enough free wood to build yourself a totally awesome climbing wall. And you get it done, and you beg your mom or your cousin for some, a little bit of extra cash so you can buy some tea nuts just to realize that nice climbing holds like this cool skull with a glow-in-the-dark eye is a little out of your price range. So I'm here to help you out in building a free climbing hold. Since you just built your climbing wall, you probably have a lot of these laying around, some scrap wood. So you're gonna need some scrap wood, a drill, and a drill bit. 7 16 drill bit. This is the minimum that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So, what's very important is that you make that hole nice and straight, and bolt, washer, voila, you got a climbing hole. What, 90 degree angles are boring? This is boring? Ugh. All right, let's try again. So because that is boring, we're gonna take another piece. This is a actual scrap piece from my climbing wall. saved it. Now, you can mount it so it's like this. Of course, all different angles, but also, oh, look at that. It's a whole new climbing hold. Mind blown? No? No? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You remember that block that we made in the very beginning? Yeah, check this out. Climbing hold different climbing hold. It's time to go climb on my wooden holes. Oh yeah. Oh. oh, that's good. All right, so the wood that I used for this is just your regular construction wood, Douglas fir. Um, are you gonna sell these on eBay? No, you're not. These are not a professional hold. Can they break? Yes, they can. If you wanted to sell holds, wooden holds, you need to use a hardwood. If it's just you and your buddies climbing, yeah, use it. Because hey, when you're out on the real rock, can holds break? Yeah, they can. But you need to be careful. You need to make sure um, that you're prepared for that. If it does, pay attention to the sound of it. And also, use a washer. The bigger, wider washer, the better. Also, if you have some real thin cuts and inlays, that's gonna make it a little bit more susceptible to breaking. When you're making a professional hold, like my skull face, this resin is at a minimum 3,000 PSI. That's really strong. A little bit different than this softer wood. So if you're planning on selling wooden holds, you better be using some hardwood.